Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. You know what? Um, I got to say this about Kale Brook. You know, over the years, Kale Brook has developed a horrible reputation. And I'll, I'll get to that in a second. You know, Kale Brook name is about to become a hip hop term for real and it's not going to be one of them good hip hop terms neither well it could be depending on the situation and who you know who you with at the time so I mean but at the end of the day um, you know Kale Brook just has a horrible reputation you know you just look at his history and he does this over and over again. So now Kell Brook, after pulling out of a fight with Terrence Bud Crawford, now all of a sudden he says he has his sights set on Keith Thurman. Now he's saying he wants a Keith Thurman fight. He's saying Keith Thurman is on his list. Okay, well... That sounds good and everything. Sounds real good and everything. But the problem is... What's to stop you from doing what you always do? Which is pull out of fights. You know... It's getting to the point to where, like I said, Kale Brook's name is a hip-hop term now. Like, like, yeah, man, I was chilling with this chick, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I kind of... You know, I didn't, you know, have, you know, you know, I didn't have, you know, you, you, you know, didn't have a, you know, a, a, a rubber. And so, you know, we did our thing and, you know, so before, you know, to take it, you know, so she don't get pregnant, you know, I had to kill Brooke. What do kill Brooke mean? Pull out. Yeah. He finna be like, you know, like how now. When somebody like say they gonna tell on you, they use the term man. I'm a Takashi six nine you because Takashi six nine is a goofball. You know what I'm saying? A piece of shit Mexican snitch. And Kell Brook is known for pulling out of fights. He say he wants to fight these dudes. He say he wants to build a legacy, and he signs. The, he signs the contract, then he pulls out. Or he's close to signing the contract, he pulls out of the fight. Kell Brook has a history of doing this. He was supposed to fight Jesse Vargas, pulled out of that fight. He was supposed to fight Devin Alexander, pulled out of that fight. You know, uh, he been back and forth with a negotiation to fight Amir Khan. Was supposed to fight Terrence Crawford, pulled out of that fight. So, I mean, even if he says he wants to fight Keith Thurman, what's to say he ain't going to pull out of that fight? This is an ongoing thing with Kell Brook. This has went on for years. This man continues to pull a lot of fights. So I don't believe nothing until I actually see Kell. It's even past the point to where I believe in him when I see a press con. Until I actually see Kell Brook walk into the ring. I believe that's when the fight is about to happen. Kell Brook has lost his right to holler about who he wants to fight. He has lost his call-out privilege as far as I go because he didn't did this too many times. Nobody on one of Kell Brook shouldn't call nobody out. It's to the point where Kell Brook wake me up when it's an actual press conference. And like I said, I still ain't gonna believe it until I, even when they had a weigh in, I still ain't gonna believe it. Until I actually see Kell Brook walk in the ring, then I'll believe Kell Brook is about to fight somebody. Because he got too much bad history behind him. He has a pattern. Like how we trying to tell y'all about Tyson Fury and the cheating shit. He has a history, he has a pattern. So that's why we're suspicious of him. This is why nobody should believe in Kell Brook. Kell Brook has lost his right to call out anybody. Real talk. Let me know what you think. Thank you for listening. This your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.